uh, radiation you can avoid, and you can provide shielding against it. Uh, that was my job. And uh, there are a lot of different ways to shield. And so we know a great deal about radiation, admittedly because of the nuclear weapons stuff. Remember, we had to worry about if there's going to be a war and we drop a bomb, can our guys go in and fight after we drop the bomb? How much radiation can they stand? What shielding can we provide? How about the pilot dropping the bomb from an airplane? The first guys were taught to throw the bomb and make a very abrupt reversal maneuver, you know, get out of there before the bomb goes off. I met, so a, few, I met a few of the guys from Boxcar and, uh, and Enola Gay. I met them okay. uh, many years ago, and, and what they were told to do is let it go and take off and don't look at it. Gentlemen, yeah, let's go take, back the other way. <laughs> absolutely. Gentlemen, let's take a brief pause right there. We'll be right back after this brief break on USA Prepares. I'm Mark Rod. I'm here with Vincent Finelli, and we're speaking with Stanton Friedman. Class is back in session. Turn up the volume. USAprepares.com with the original survival economist, Vincent Finelli and Mark Wright. Welcome back to USA Prepares. This is Mark Wright. I'm here with Vincent Finelli on KWTO, the powerhouse of the Midwest, and we're talking with Milton Freedom. Stanton Friedman. Stanton Friedman, I'm sorry. Uh, wrong <laughs> wrong Friedman. For, uh, excuse me, Stanton, there. Before we get back to Stanton, um, Vinny, I'm hungry. Freeze-dry guy? Freeze-dry guy. You know, in today's fast-paced life, we eat a variety of convenient foods, from fast food restaurants to microwavable foods. We like quick, great-tasting meals our whole family will love. This is where Freeze-dry guy leads the field. Freeze-dry guy, freeze-dry foods are easy to prepare. Just add hot water, wait about 10 minutes, and eat. Because little or no cooking is needed. These foods require much less water and fuel than most fresh, frozen, or dehydrated foods. See the Freeze-Dry Guy link on usaprepares.com exhibitor page. Freeze-DryGuy.com, 866-404-3663. Storm shelters. Uh, classic reminder, uh, there's a lot to learn before selecting your storm shelter and safe room. Ask your questions at Missouri Storm Shelters. 417-725-0055, 417-725-0055, MissouriStormShelters.com. How many people do you need to protect? A lot. Okay, we're back uh, with Stanton Friedman. And Stanton, I, I, we only have a few minutes left, and yeah. I, I've got some burning questions. I know there's okay. so much to talk about, and we want to have you back and, and get into uh, significant detail. But here's, here's the question. We know that there's radiation. We know that there's good radiation. Uh, there are benefits, and we know that there's some some dangers. There's radiation in the air. We burn coal, and radioactivity enters the air. What yep. should we do to minimize the negative effects of radiation in our lives? Well, you got to deal sensibly. Uh, you want to. You might want to find out, depending where you live, how much radon is got. That's radioactive gas that's produced by the decay from uranium that's in the ground. But it can accumulate in your basement, for example, and you breathe it. Now, radiation has different effects, whether you breathe it in so it settles in your lungs, for example, not a good idea if you can avoid it, or whether it's just from the outside and bangs away at your body and it's finished and that's that. Uh, the gamma rays do that, uh, just like the x-rays when you have an x-ray. Uh, the radioactive gases can cause problems internally, so stay away from them. How do we get? How do we measure that? You can stick little packets in, and they you put them in a device in a while, and you know how long they were exposed for, and you can measure the the remnant, the amount of radioactivity that's now in this little packet of powder stuff. Okay, so I measured several hundred homes here in Fredericton one time, uh, and some were uh, high, as bad as smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. Uh, Others uh, had practically nothing. Okay. They're sleeping in the same bed with somebody will expose you to radiation. Now don't it's tell my all wife. over the place. So don't, don't what tell I'm my saying wife. is you can't just say, oh, it's radiation, how terrible. Well, how much? Uh, two aspirin will probably take care of your headache. Twenty it might very well kill you. And what has been found with radiation, like so many other things, is a process called hormesis, H-O-R-M-E-S-I-S, -E -S, where a little does you good and a lot does you harm. 
and it's finding out where that uh, crossover point is. Many studies showing that some bacteria won't uh, multiply if they don't have a little radiation. It, apparently, it affects the immune system. You know, the planet was more radioactive a million years ago than it is now because the radioactive materials have decayed. So it's finding out more about it. It's staying away from it. It's taking advantage of the measuring techniques we have available. Uh, civil defense people have radiation detectors all over the place. Uh, and it, it's being sensible. Uh, in other words, if somebody tells you you got a basement full of radon because you've made it airtight because you want to be, you know, save energy, uh, you want to have it checked for radon. Do I have to if worry? You're already smoking two packs of cigarettes, and you may not care. <laughs> okay. Do I have to worry about my uh, Swiss Army watch that has luminescent no. hands? No, the that, that that's one of the key things. Gamma rays, as I mentioned, like X rays, are highly penetrating. Okay. But alpha particles, which are in the radon gas, they you can stop them with a piece thin piece of cardboard. Okay, and I guess uh, the same thing is true for the uh, luminescent sights on a uh, handgun. Metridium sites? Yeah, those are alpha particles and stuff. And you really, I mean, I wouldn't sleep with one under your head all night long, every day. You know what I'm saying. you mm -hmm. got to be reasonable. Do I need to wash my hands before I eat, after I handle that firearm? It, it probably wouldn't hurt just on general, <laughs> general health purposes. Sure. But no, it's nothing to worry about. No. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, everything, it's a question of degree. And that's why it's so important. Yes, they dumped in Fukushima, they dumped in a lot of radiation, a lot of radioactive material in the ocean. And people are worried about, hey, I live in California, they're going to come over here and kill me. And I have a grandson and great-grandson in California, and I would say, and a daughter. I would say, no, it's not. It's diluted mm -hmm. by I mean, the atmosphere. People forget, we tested more, we Earthlings tested more than... 300 nuclear weapons. We spread radiation all over the place. Mm -hmm. We did. Kodak had a problem back in the uh, 60s with their <laughs> yeah. film because uh, the hospitals were complaining that the film was, was not usable, and that's because the background radiation was uh, was clouding the film before the hospitals used it while it was in transit from Kodak to the hospitals. Well, yeah, and there's a, a classic house in Taiwan it turns out one of these radioactive cobalt-60 sources got ground up uh, inadvertently and was in the metal, the structural metal that they made this apartment building out of. And you know what? They had a long-term look at this question. It wasn't discovered until many years later. Uh, it turns out the people wound up uh, living longer than the people who weren't. <laughs> wow. I'm not recommending that you do that. Right, I'm just right. saying... It's part of this picture of radiation hormesis. Well, how, how about People this? How about this coal issue? Uh, we, we hear that coal uh, emits radio radiation uh, through through the smokestack, but but I have a different question. The question is, a lot of the sheetrock or wallboard that's being produced is being produced out of the fly ash that's the remnant of generating electric power from coal. Now. Is that, is that anything that we need to worry about? Because I have wallboard in my house, and it may have fly ash. I don't know. And uh, so, so do other people, as well as well, gyps gypsum. It, it's a question of measuring, and that's the thing. It's unpredictable because depending what, where the coal is from, the levels of thorium and other radioactive materials in coal vary all over the place. And also, some plants have scrubbers on them, and some don't. That is, where they look at the exhaust, so to speak, from the plant and filter out uh, the bad stuff. So you got to make measurements. you got to set standards. you got to check. You don't assume anything. You measure. And that's one of the beauties of radiation. It's easy to measure. You don't need to guess. Uh, you know, and people have talked even about treating flu gas with electrons. Uh, to get rid of the SO2, the, the stuff that makes acid rain. You don't hear that word acid rain much anymore. But, Stanton, uh, I've, I've got some bad news for you. We're going to have to have you back. We just <laughs> <laughs> we just touched one one tenth of one percent of what we need to talk about today. That's right. Everything is dose dependent. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, we need to increase the dose of Stanton Friedman uh, for okay. our class. What do you think? Uh, do it in a couple weeks. 
Uh, yeah, I sh- well, uh, catch me when you can. I, I'm a busy guy. I'm going out to California uh, tomorrow. Uh, week after that, I'll be to Nova Scotia. Uh, week after that, I'll be in Michigan. Uh, we'll we'll I catch you. A lot. We'll, we'll get yeah. you scheduled sometime down the road. I've got. All you, right. I've got your we'll home do. number. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stanton. Thank you, Stanton. Thank you, you have a good day, and we really appreciate okay. you joining us. Today. And be safe. Well, that was uh, that was good information right there, Benny. Uh, Stanton Friedman is is the, he's I'll the tell best. You, he's known for a lot of things, and he's number one in another area. And we'll talk about that maybe some other day. But he is he. Is-